<laughs> with everything that is happening now like this is day 12 get to day 12 with everything that has happened i will just say that big brother ninja pepe them reunion is all about tasha because every fight every shout you heard you know every confrontation every problem you heard was tasha you know so i believe i believe this with all these i can say that tasha went into the house you know she unleashed her own pepe in the house came out of the house got reorientated happy let me know <laughs> she got refined reorientated huh and then um she went i pro i think she probably went for therapy or something you know she went and got redefined and came out and moved on so with the way she's calm it's so obvious that you see those things i did in the house that was in the house and that was last year <laughs> because there is no single day they did not mention Tasha. If, even while, even when she's there and the, when she's not there. So we, somebody even messaged me now and I was like, it seems this reunion is about Tasha. I said, today, you know, the first thing was um, the, they showed us the, the box incident again. They started with the box incident, you know, that day that um, Elizanam and Diane were meant to take care of the box and then they, they, they misplaced it, you know. So what happened that day? They showed us the, the clip. What happened? Tasha, why were you, you know, shouting? No, it was first asked. Cindy was asked. Cindy, you were the cause. It seemed like every problem that got so much was caused by this Cindy girl. Cindy was asked, you were the cause of this problem. Why didn't you speak up, you know? Why did you just act like you, you, you were not concerned? And then Cindy said that she was screaming. She was literally screaming that um, um, uh, she was screaming, but nobody heard her. Nobody heard what she was saying. And then Tasha was asked, Tasha said she was she was scared. Because the way Biggie sounded, Biggie sounded like it's gonna be grave, like the punishment is gonna be grave, and she was scared. And then Diane said she was more, she was even more scared than Tasha. But the thing was that Tasha was just shouting and shouting. You know, Elozonam was asked, I cannot even remember what Elozonam said, but he shall defend it. I didn't even hear what he said. You get me? So T Diane said that um, she was more scared, but Tasha was shouting. She was even paranoid. And then she went to confront. She went to Tasha. And then Tasha said she poked her. That if they played the clip and it's so glaring that she poked Tasha, she will apologize here and now. Then Tasha was asked. Tasha said that she was scared, like I said. And then uh, Diane poked her or something. They played the clip. It happened that. Diane was doing like this. She did not literally poke um, Tasha and Diane did not apologize. But Tasha said that when she came out of the house at the multi-choice multi uh, meeting, gathering or party or something, she went to all the housemates, you know, to greet all of them. Now he got to Chase and She just gave her a turn off, like, I don't know you vibe, but she still went ahead to hug him. He got to Diane and she said, hey, what's up? Diane said she did not greet her. Mm. Diane said that uh, they just saw and they were, they were hailing themselves like what they used to say in the house and they hugged. And then she th uh, Diane said she thought they were cool. And then only for the next day to come in the interview, and she saw an interview about Tasha and she was like, whoa. Now Tasha addressed that interview. She said that it was the vlogger that posted that online, that the interview was not even about Diane. It had nothing to do with Diane, but, but the way the blogger or the, the interviewer, the person that interviewed it, the way he put it, you know, the thumbnail, you know, he just put something catchy. And then Tasha said she called the guy to address that thing. No, 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 don't do this. Now, I think the major problem of these ladies, especially now that they are outside the house, I think the major problem guys i'm in a hostel sorry i think the major problem of this thing is um vloggers you know using catchy thumbnails to attract people now there was something on insta blog like that video i posted there was a pic uh, a video of omashala and mercy i posted a video they were on live after omashala and mercy's um confrontation you know so the person the caption the person used was so so catchy it was something about mercy shading Tasha, which did not happen so glaringly, you know. So mercy addressed the person. 
So I think with all of this, I'll say the vloggers, the vloggers are just using knives and catchy thumbnails to get people to them, to get viewers to them. And will you literally blame them for doing that? You know? <laughs> Everybody's just taking advantage of the whole thing. Now it's she, son, or like she and Tasha Stun. You know, at some point in the house, she and Tasha were really, 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 really close. Like they were close in the house, you know. Ibuka showed like there are some clips of when she was like, um, Tasha, I need I need to call do this. And, like a lot of of clips of both of them, you know, really together. And then there was a time they were even, we like say isolated, <laughs> fake evicted, and they kept both of them in one room. <laughs> so all of these things were planned. Let's say they were planned because according to what Ibuka said this night, Ibuka said that you people were close that to some extent that um the viewers, the fan out there thought something was going on between both of you, you know, to the extent that they had um, 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 hashtags for you, they were expecting something to happen. No, that now I think that was the time they now kept them in the room to actually see what would happen. And fortunately, let's say unfortunately, something did not. <laughs> Something did not happen. Now, she was asked what happened in all this sweetness, this friendship, this everything. What happened in the midst of everything? She said he did not know. Seriously, that he does not know. Honestly, I do not know. Now, he said something about Tasha not reciprocating the, the, the respect he gives her. That Tasha did not reciprocate that the friendship that everything was about Tasha, 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 you know, anything that Tasha feels to shout whenever she wants to and he cannot do the same, you know, he kept on driving back at Tasha's talking, talking, talking and shouting, you know, Tasha was asked and she said that she and she just had a misunderstanding, like Tasha just used one word to explain everything and it is true. They had a misunderstanding that they were meant to clear, but did not clear it. You know, it escalated instead. Tasha said they had a misunderstanding and they wanted to clear it in the house. You know, that um, she and then Ibukana asked what she, what's her take about what she said of the friendship being one-sided. Because now she is claiming that this friendship was one-sided, that he was the one taking and take he was the one taking all the all the excesses, and Tasha wasn't giving or reciprocating. You know, so Ibuka asked Tasha to explain that and she said that she reciprocated because at some point she was defending she, she defended him twice, that the one of those defense got her her strike, got her a strike. Now she has a second strike and then she, being her friend, you cost me the first strike. Now I have the second strike and she said something, said, if you talk anyhow, I'll help you get the third strike. strike. And that was what made her, triggered her to talk more you know and she did not you know want to settle the the problem anymore mm, she did not want to settle the the problem anymore and she said on that day she had the second strike already so she was so careful not um you know to shout or to get the third strike now she kept on talking he now said eh, when he wanted to resolve issues with her, then she now said something about achievement. Yeah, Tasha, they played the clip again. And Tasha said it again that yes, that's the fact. What I've achieved at age 23, he did not achieve it. Tasha just said the fact. And then she was not like, I don't need to brag. I, 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 I. Tasha said up until now. <laughs> Like, I love that part. Like, I was like, yeah, yeah. She said something about she calling her names. That, um, she called her a prostitute. And then she was like, that's not a cool word to use on a woman. You know, this she now is now trying to play defense. And she said a whole lot. He said common sense is not common at all. Uh, he said a, a whole lot. And Tasha just made her point and closed her mouth. You know, all these shades and all these things. <laughs> Tasha did not even send. She just made her point and that's it. So they were asked if they are still friends. Tasha said they're just they're not enemies. So so moving on, it got to Abala and Isilomo. Now Ibuka, I don't know. Ibuka said he saw something online about Isilomo and um Abala not um talking, they're not in the talking tense. And then Abala was asked. And then she said it was because Isilomo is not a loyal friend. That in the house something happened. And then instead of Isilomo to take her side, she was joining the people that were talking about Avala. 
you know so islam was asked she says that because i am your friend because i am your friend doesn't mean you'll be doing something wrong and he expects me you know to support you <laughs> like i can't do that that doesn't mean i'm not loyal that doesn't mean this and that and it's not went as far as saying that we should not first of all it's not said the incident or the problem they have on uh, you know the problem they have or the problem insta, insta blog brought out it's not something that is um, meant to be shared on air it is between both of them it is not something that everybody should know <laughs> Ibuka was was like let us know let us know but they they coded it now Islamo was like eh, she, Islamo was still talking and talking you're not loyal Islamo was like I am loyal because you did something and I corrected it doesn't mean I, I'm not loyal Avala said Islamo has a lot of excesses that being Islamo's friend is a big 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 work Islamo was so pleased was so pissed that Avala said that on national tv about her so she was so pissed you know and it happened that the problem the real problem of everything that happened between both of them is actually man because a man was mentioned man was mentioned <laughs> but it was not so 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 clear guys it was